What's up travelers? In this video, we're eating some Egyptian food here in downtown Cairo, just outside of Tahir Square. So I just came to this place called Tofela. I just ordered something called tamia, and I also got lentil soup, and then a half a grilled chicken. It should be pretty interesting. I think that I actually ate here once before, back in 2015 when I was here on a big tour. I think the tour actually came to this place. But this place is actually fairly famous, uh, like uh, President Jimmy Carter ate here at one point. Uh, this place has been open since 1959, and it was like the first places that uh, combined vegetarian dishes and uh, traditional Egyptian cuisine together here in Cairo. They just gave us some, some bread and some tahini here, so let's check that out. It was nice and warm. I'm sure it just came out of the oven. So the lentil soup just showed up. So let's just dip some of this in there. That is super good. They also gave us these little chips here. I don't know if you can see it very well. Man, this, this soup is amazing. It's got just this awesome creamy texture to it. You can tell that you're eating beans, but, but that, like it's just blended to uh, just a perfect puree. I'm not entirely sure what, what they got going on with the spices in there, but oh man, it is so good. That tahini is just so tangy and beautiful. But the star here, the star right now is this lentil soup so the lentil soup is 45 egyptian pounds which is right around three dollars hello my name is varun a really cool guy in a boat you can be really cool guy like Varun if you subscribe to Tasting Travel right now. If you do not subscribe, I'll be ah ah. You're welcome. Just got that Tamiya, so let's check this out. So let's dig into this. We're just gonna go ahead and dunk it right in that tahini here. Oh yeah, look at that. So this is nice and crunchy. I don't think you could really tell that it's fava beans. It's just like a, a soft and crunchy patty. 
I think you definitely need the tahini to go with it. Oh! This one's quite a bit thicker than the last one. More spongy. It's a really nice consistency. The Tamiya is 26 Egyptian pounds, which is right around a dollar and a half. Pretty damn amazing. While I'm waiting for my chicken, I might as well tell you about what's been going on. So I've been here in Cairo for, well this is my third night, I've spent two days and three nights here. This is really the first time I've eaten any Egyptian food since I've been here. First night I got in, just went to McDonald's, and then yesterday I didn't eat anything all day long because I had a crazy day, I went to the Egyptian Museum of Civilization. Then I met this artist who turns out to be he's, he's an actual celebrity here in Egypt. He was driving me around town and it was a really crazy experience. We went to his studio out in Mahdi. Then he had to go pick up his daughter and go to go practice for a concert that he's performing tonight. And so I ended up grabbing an Uber back to Tahrir Square where my hotel's at. Man, that shit was crazy, man. There was people fighting a bit over traffic, like literally getting out of their cars and just fist fighting. It was, it was insane. Like the traffic here in Cairo at rush hour is the most crazy thing I've ever seen when it involves vehicles. It's, it's insane. I got back to my hotel and I was I was so beaten and I just went to Hardee's. I mean, would you expect to think that there's a Hardee's here in Cairo? <laughs> well, there is one and I went there. Well, it's not too bad actually. Very similar to what you'd find in the States, but it's a, it's a little different. Hey, what's up travelers? I want to let you guys know that I published a coloring book. Uh, it's based off of photographs that I took while I was in Egypt during this series. I put a whole lot of work into it. Check out these photos, uh, some of the pages there. Again, I put a lot of work into it. There is a link down in the description to where you can go pick one up. I hope you do. It was a lot of fun making it. it wasn't so much fun publishing it. <laughs> it's a really kind of a pain, but I went through it and I got it published. And hopefully you guys like it. So, yeah, check it out. Man, this looks so delicious. I really wish YouTube had a smell vision option because this chicken smells amazing. Absolutely amazing. I can't wait to dig into this thing. Oh yeah. Now they bring me metal silverware. <laughs> oh man. That is the best chicken I've had all year. Unbelievable how good this chicken is. It's a little tiny drumstick, but whatever. You, you don't need a giant one. The flavor for this definitely makes up for the size of the chicken drumstick. Mm. That is fantastic. The marinade and the spices, it just goes all the way through, all the way down to the bone. The charred grill from it is just unbelievable. I literally challenge people to find chicken as good as this in the United States. I don't think it's going to happen. It's possible, but I don't think you're going to find it. It's got some carrots and some onions with it. 
Oh, boy. You're messing out. As far as food goes in Egypt, for the most part, Egyptian food's not the greatest thing on earth. But, I mean, it's not bad. But this, this really takes it to that next level. The half grilled chicken was 140 Egyptian pounds, which is right around nine US dollars. Hopefully, if you come to Egypt, come to Cairo, come check out Fafa and try their food because they really know what they're doing. If you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and give the video a like and hit that thumbs up button subscribe hit that bell so you know when i upload a new video and as always eat great food